Hey there, story lovers. Welcome to chapter three of our thrilling tale. Today, we're diving into a scene that's as charged as a thunderstorm. Picture this, a town hall, its wooden walls lined with faded photographs, each one a silent witness to the unfolding drama. The air is thick with anticipation and dread, as if the very walls are leaning in to catch every word. The flickering lights cast shadows that dance across the faces of the townsfolk, each one a tapestry of emotions. Mayor Collins, tall and imposing in his sharp suit, sits at the front, his expression a fortress of skepticism. At the back, Jasmine Rivera stands with her long, dark braid, her eyes sparkling with hope. It's a scene set for revelations, and trust me, you won't want to miss what happens next. So buckle up, because this chapter is about to take you on a roller coaster ride through the heart of Plymouth Secrets. Now, this reminds me of those epic moments where everything hangs in the balance. Evie Parker stands at the front, her heart pounding like a drum. Her bright green eyes scan the crowd, each face a story waiting to be told. Beside her, Tommy Hayes, with his sandy hair and wide blue eyes, stands ready to unveil the secrets whispered through the ancient pine tree. As Evie begins to speak, her voice steady despite the tremors of uncertainty, the whispers of the tree seem to echo in the hall. It's as if magic fills the air, drawing the townsfolk into a tapestry of memories. Suddenly, holographic memories shimmer into existence. A young couple dancing under the stars, laughter ringing out like music. A family gathered around a table, their faces aglow with candlelight, sharing stories of gratitude and loss. The townsfolk gasp, tears glistening as they witness their own histories unfold. It's a moment of connection, a bridge between past and present. And oh, here's where it gets really juicy. But what if I told you the tension doesn't end there? The room erupts into a cacophony of voices, some filled with anger, others with sorrow. Mayor Collins rises his imposing figure casting a long shadow. This is dangerous, he declares, but his voice falters as he sees the resolve in Evie's eyes. Evie stands her ground, her heart racing. But what peace is built on silence? She challenges, her words hanging in the air, heavy with meaning. As the townsfolk begin to share their own stories, the hall transforms into a sanctuary of vulnerability. Tears flow freely, Laughter mingles with sorrow, and the whispers of the tree become a chorus of healing. In that moment, the community begins to reconcile their differences, embracing the power of their shared truths. The chapter closes with a sense of hope, the promise of a Thanksgiving celebration that will honor the past and celebrate the bonds reforged. Evie and Tommy exchange a glance, a silent agreement that they've ignited a spark of change in Plymouth, one that will illuminate their path forward. And that's a wrap for Chapter 3, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to Storyteller for more adventures.